So welcome to the video. Today we're going to take a look at how to create clustered bar graphs on SPSS and we'll do it for a couple of different types of design. So we'll do it for a between groups two by two design as well as for a mixed two by two design. So let's start off with the between groups two by two design. So for this example, let's imagine that we have two different types of treatment. So we have treatment A and we have treatment B. And we're imagining that, that either one of those treatments can be delivered in one of two different settings. So for example, it could be a hospital or it could be in the community. So we have setting A and we have setting B. And we're also just going to look at symptoms. So those symptoms could be whatever you, you want them to be. They could be depression, they could be anxiety, whatever you want. Okay, so let's take a look at how to create the clustered bar graph for this type of design with this type of data. So what I'm going to do first is just go to graphs and then chart builder. And I'm just going to reset this and I'm going to check the bar is selected in this menu on the left. And then I'm going to double click on this clustered bar image here, which brings up this content in this box up here. Then I'm going to transfer a treatment to one of the independent variables to the x-axis box and the other independent variable to the cluster on x set color box. It doesn't really matter necessarily which way you do these. You could have put the treatments in the other box and the setting in the other box. It just um, depends on what makes sense to you really. So next I'm just going to transfer the dependent variable. So in the case of this example, it's symptoms. I'm going to put that in the count box. And because it's pretty common to have error bars, it's often recommended. I'm going to take this display error bars box as well. And I'm just going to stick with the default option of having 95% confidence intervals error bars. So when this window looks like this, you can just go to OK and that will create the graph for you. If you're interested in checking out how to create the graph for the mixed design, we'll take a look at that now. So we're going to have a similar example for this one. So we're going to imagine in this case that we just have treatment A and treatment B. We don't have different settings in this case, but we're looking at symptoms before the treatment and we're looking at symptoms after the treatment. So we have scores for before and we have scores for after. So we have a between subjects independent variable and then we have a within subjects or within groups independent variable with continuous data for the dependent variable. So to create this graph, we're going to go to Chart Builder again, Graphs, then Chart Builder. Just going to reset this. Same thing again, check the bar is selected over here. Drag or double click the um, clustered bar chart option. This time I'm going to transfer treatment to the X axis box. I'm going to transfer symptoms baseline to the count box. And then I'll do the same thing for the symptoms post. So the symptoms after treatment option is also going to get transferred to this box on the Y axis. That's going to open this create summary group window. I'm just going to accept that and go to OK. And then same thing again, I'll just uh, create display, uh, I'll just take display error bars to create error bars for 95% confidence intervals. So when this window looks like this, I'm going to go to OK. And that will generate a nice graph for us. If we want to edit it, we can just double click on this and that will open the chart editor. I will often just remove certain parts of this because I would prefer to create the title, for example, within a Word file. So I'll just delete that. So I'll right click on it, then just choose delete in the menu. Same thing for this error bars thing here. I'd probably just delete that. So I'll right click on it, then I'll go to delete. And if you want to edit these bars, for example, if you wanted to present your results in APA style, typically you just use grayscale colors within your figures. So if I um, click on these bars once, and then if I click on them again, so I can see that now just the red bars are highlighted by these thin blue lines. And then if I right click on that, the red bar, and then I go to properties window, I can make some adjustments to that bar. So bar options, okay, let's go to 
fill border, the fill border tab. And I can just change this to sort of gray. So I click to a different gray. If I go to apply, I can see that that changes the color. Let's do the same thing for the blue one. So I'll click on that once. Okay, so that's worked. I just clicked on that once at the time. Then I'll right click properties window. I'll um, select a different gray. I'll click apply. And then you might want to just change the, the width for example, of these bars. Sometimes they're very wide. Um, in this case, they look okay, but let's just see what it looks like if we decrease the width a bit. Okay, so looks like that. So I'll just close that. And anything else you want to edit, you can just click on it and you can change the font if you like, if you like to. So for example, you might want to have a font that matches the font that you're using within your report. So maybe Times New Roman, and you can choose whatever size you want maybe make this a bit bigger so it's a bit clearer and if you double click on any of these so if I click on this once and then I click on it again I can just remove for example these underscores that sometimes SPSS forces you to have so yeah that's about it hopefully that helped let me know if you have any questions thanks for watching see you next time